Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Prajita Damle and I lead product management for Dataplex. And with me today I have Diptiman. Hi, I'm Diptiman. I'm a developer advocate for data platforms on Google Cloud. And today we have an exciting session for you. We're going to talk about all things data mesh. We are going to talk about what is a data mesh, what problems it solves, and then we are going to actually walk you through a demo which can help you get started with building a data mesh on GCP. So let's dive in. So as many of you know, data is growing exponentially, but what does that actually mean? As per IDC, the data that we'll produce in the next five years will be in the order of 175 zettabytes. Now, if we look back in the last eight years, we are, our rate of data production has grown 10x. Now, while data is growing exponentially, what does that actually mean for businesses? The value that most businesses are able to realize from data is not exactly in line with the exponential growth that we are seeing with data. What we see is two thirds of the data that is produced is actually never analyzed. And almost 70% of the companies are unable to realize any tangible and measurable value from this data. And as a result, what is top of mind for most data executives and across our customer base is how to bring this distributed data together, how to break down silos that exist within their organization, make data that they can trust, that their end consumers can trust, easily available, um, and then how to democratize access, not just to data, but to insights. And what this really needs is a self-service, decentralized data platform that provides independent ownership of data, but still allows organizations to centrally monitor and govern their data at state. And that is exactly what a data mesh architecture provides. A data mesh architecture is built around the business context and the business domain within your organizations, where you can create logical data domains, independently allow your data owners and producers to manage data based on those domains, but still have the ability to centrally monitor your data across domains, enable interoperability and access to this data, and centrally govern this data. The key building blocks of a data mesh architecture are all structured around treating data as a product. It begins with creating these logical groups or data domains that are structured around the business context within your organization. And then enabling the domain to function independently, to manage the data independently as part of that domain, which includes designating Personas like data owners, data stewards, custodians, each providing a different role and having different responsibilities to manage that data. But while the data is being managed, produced independently, you still have the ability to provide the underlying infrastructure and tech in a centralized manner. You still have the ability to consistently govern and monitor this data. And that is what Dataplex enables on GCP. It provides you that data control plane, which enables unification of distributed data, enables decentralized management of data through a unified uh, interface, and enables the ability to standardize your policies and, and govern your data in a consistent manner. What Dataplex enables is a data mesh architecture where you can organize your data logically to map to the business domains, the business context, the business use of your data to then delegate acts ownership and the ability to manage this data to individual data owners, which could be individuals, groups within your organization who have the most business context, and then have the ability to set up standardized policies around access control, around data quality, around data lifecycle management, classification across these domains, all based on the understanding of your data and all based using metadata as your back plane. And once that is done, 
the metadata that is automatically curated by Dataplex is also made available to a variety of tools to really facilitate that interoperability of tools and to enable different data consumers within your organization access to the data that they need. Now let's zoom into a specific domain. Here is an example of a sales domain that you can create using the lake construct in Dataplex. And then you can bring in data that might be physically stored in different data products um, or, or data storage products and across multiple different GCP projects and bring them together as assets within zones that you can structure to map to different data products within that domain. What Dataplex does is it enables auto discovery of data across the domain, provides you centralized metadata management. It also provides you governance capabilities out of box like data quality, data lifecycle management, uh, as well as managing access control across your data, uh, across the data products using IM permissions. Dataplex also enables you to not only group data around your business domains, but also related code in the form of scripts, notebooks, and have that be part of the same data domain. And then provides you a serverless infrastructure to run a variety of data tasks across this data. And then finally, the monitoring of various different activities, uh, including the sharing of this data, is all centralized, where your data domain owners have the ability to take the actions to share this data, to curate the data in the way that makes sense. Uh, and then your data stewards and governors can actually have that end-to-end -end ability to monitor your data across different domains. Um, with that, I'll hand it to Diptiman to actually walk us through an example to see some of these concepts come to life. Thank you, Projecta. So uh, we've recorded a short demo, um, which highlights the core capabilities of Dataplex to build a data mesh on Google Cloud, where Dataplex provides a unified data management and data governance across data products with harvesting metadata, running data quality tasks, managing data lifecycle across data products, and data security being the key features. Please have a look. Dataplex on Google Cloud is an intelligent data fabric that provides a data management platform to easily build independent data domains within a data mesh that spans your organization, while still maintaining central controls for governing and monitoring the data across domains. In this example, compliance and operations are examples of two lakes as the foundation for two separate data domains within an organization. Dataplex manages the data governance, metadata, data quality, data lifecycle management across these domains and enables out-of-box access to this data from both Google Cloud native products like BigQuery and via open source applications such as Spark, Presto, etc. Within a Dataplex lake, which maps to a data domain, practitioners can create data tiers using zones based on the readiness of the data or based on different data products within that domain. In this example, I clicked on the operations lake and we can see procurement and transactions as two zones. While procurement is of the type a curated zone, transactions is of the type raw zone. With zones, Dataplex provides the ability to run custom data curation and other data preparation transformations natively within Dataplex. Within a Dataplex zone, practitioners can add data assets from diverse data sources, such as Google Cloud Storage files or BigQuery datasets. In this example, the procurement zone contains a BigQuery dataset while the transaction zone contains both a BigQuery dataset as well as raw data stored in Google Cloud Storage. When you add data to Dataplex, it creates a logical mapping to the physical resources, 
so there is no data movement. An important feature of Dataplex is to allow data assets from projects across other teams to be added within the same zone. In this example, within the transaction zone, the BigQuery asset customers belong to the same project. If you check the project up here, and if you check, check the project here, both are the same. While the Google Cloud Storage asset, raw data, belongs to a different project. If you check the project up here, and you check the project here, it's different. So with lakes, zones, and assets, Dataplex gives you the ability to logically organize your data into data domains that map to your business without any data movement, enable autonomous ownership of data, and then apply common data management and governance policies on this data. Aligned to the core data mesh data governance principles, once your data is organized into lakes, you can now designate individuals or IAM groups as data owners and grant appropriate read-write permissions at the data and metadata level using this secure tab. Data consumers which belong to different data product teams can be granted read-write access to the data asset using Dataplex secure menu. Here in this example, for the customer's data asset, notice how the data product owner retains authoritative control for the data asset, while other consumers can be granted read privileges like Dataplex Data Reader or Dataplex Metadata Reader. All permissions applied at the lake level are inherited by data and code within that lake. You can also apply permissions to a specific zone or asset. Dataplex then takes the effective permission set and maps it into the underlying physical resources. For the customer's data assets, since it's a BigQuery data assets, BigQuery inherits these privileges from Dataplex. This gives you the ability to define permissions based on their business context and then apply them at scale across data stored in different storage products and across Google Cloud projects. Since these permissions are all IAM permissions, your existing processes and tools will continue to run without any change. Dataplex Explore tab, which is under preview, provides the capability to query data assets using Spark SQL or Jupyter Notebooks. In this example, we can write SQL queries to extract information from transactions table. Similarly, these tables are also available within the BigQuery dataset and can be queried from BigQuery as well. Notice how the Dataplex console explicitly declares the engine as Spark SQL while the query is being run from Dataplex. Clicking default opens up the serverless Spark environment managed by Dataplex. With Dataplex Explore tab, which is under preview, practitioners can also run interactive data curation and other transformations using Spark on Jupyter Notebook. In this example, we have created a Jupyter Lab Notebook exploration to run data curation tasks. Once I look up the database and the table name, I can execute a Spark SQL query interactively within the notebook. Notice how the notebooks and other SQL scripts are all saved within the same data product domain aligning to the core data mesh principle of a decentralized, self-reliant data as a product. With Dataplex process tab, you can create rule-based data quality checks using the data quality task in Dataplex to check for completeness, accuracy, and freshness of your data. The rules are specified in a rule configuration file in YAML format, and the task runs in a serverless manner 
on a schedule and applies those rules to data in both Google Cloud Storage and BigQuery. You can view the results of each run in an output table in BigQuery or use a Google Data Studio dashboard to monitor the overall data quality score for your data domain. You can also run other data management tasks such as data tiering from BigQuery to Google Cloud Storage or data curation using the templates available under process in Dataplex and create your own custom data flow pipelines that can run on a schedule against the data in your data domain. The data flow pipeline tier data to UK seamlessly move data to a cross region bucket. Thanks for watching the demo. I hope you got a quick glimpse of the core capabilities of Dataplex as an unified data management and data governance product. That's it for the session today. As a next step, please read the Build a Data Mesh on Google Cloud with Dataplex blog and read the tutorial on getting started with Data Mesh. The links are all given below. Thank you for joining Projecta and myself for the session today. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.